guys welcome back to the mary boozers rc channel tonight we have the dynam pt17 steerman uh, i saw this one come out a few weeks back really really a nice looking airplane i uh, got to talking with bobby k over at bitgo hobby he said man you should really give this one a shot this is a new model we've really put a lot more work into these newer dynam planes and we think he'd be impressed with it so I told him to go on and send me one. Let's check it out. So Dynam has provided this model for us to try out. Super excited guys. I will say taking it out of the box and looking it over, it really does look like Dynam has stepped up their quality a little bit. These new airplanes are really nice looking. So here's where the, the rubber meets the road as they say. Tonight we're gonna be putting this airplane together here and we're gonna see what improvements they've made. I can already tell you right out of the box the finish is a lot better than some of the previous items I've done and uh, I, I'm really impressed. The paintwork is actually very good on this airplane and uh, it, it just overall it, it looks a lot better. And uh, hopefully I can get that to y'all as we go through this. It looks like Dynam is really starting to think out a little bit more about some of the stuff they're doing and uh, improvements that they've been doing. So like I said, guys, here's where the rubber beats the road. Let's get down on the workbench and get going. All right, guys, so we've got our PT-17 out here. I've had a few minutes to look at the manual and kind of figure out what's going on. Uh, first thing I'll tell you in this is that your manual is trash <laughs> it's about a paragraph that big so what we're going to say is just follow along with us as we assemble this and just do their steps and you're going to be a-okay on putting this together so the first thing we're going to do is get the wings glued together that's going to take a little bit of time to dry so we might as well start there before we start on the other parts of the airplane uh, one thing i want to do before we glue our wing halves together Right off the bat is I'm going to hook up a servo checker to each of the servos and make sure they're okay right now. It's a whole lot easier to fix this if one of them's bad right now. While well, we can still get to the ends and take them out before we glue everything. So the nice thing is on this airplane, if you ever do have a servo go bad, there's actually a servo uh, a spot to unplug the servo right here on the end of the wing. But neither needless to say i'd like to check them before i glue everything together either way so that's the first thing we're going to do hook up our servo checker and make sure all this works all right guys so i've dry fit the wing together we have the carbon spar in there right now just wanted to make sure everything fit here's a good chance like i said before we glue everything together just to make sure all our servos work before we glue like i said plug them in if you don't have one of these, you can always use a receiver, but these things are like $2. I highly recommend you get a servo checker. Makes assemblies much, much easier. All right, so we know it's good. So let's go in and slide our wing back apart. Always dry fit your parts first also. Makes it where you won't have an issue in the, begin in the future. So we're putting this together with the longer carbon spar out of the kit and the two wing halves that have ailerons on them. That's the bottom wing. So, as you saw, I slid it all together. Take your time working the spars in. They go in real nice and easy now that I've done it once. There you go. Put that up out of the way. We're gonna take our glue that comes in the kit. Nothing wrong with this white tube glue, guys. It works great. I'm going to put it pretty good and not be stingy with it. Not going to hurt anything getting some stringy stuff here. Just might look not as pretty. But I'm going to cover it everywhere. Make a nice mess. Get a little more over here. I got lots of it. It comes in every airplane kit almost, and you don't always use it, so don't ever throw this stuff away. It's great stuff. All right, let's push them together. Like so. Make sure it's good and squished. Try and pull it back apart. See all that hair stuff coming out of there? I don't know if you can see that, but 
it comes out real hairy looking. That means it's, it's drying. And then we push that back together, pull off some of the stringies, make sure it's good and mushed together all over. And just like that, our bottom wing is now glued together. All right, so we've got the bottom wing all put together and now we're on to the top wing. So once again, I've dry fit everything together. I highly recommend you do the same before you glue anything. Make sure it all fits. You don't have any issues with fitment not going in. So I'm gonna take it apart in reverse of what we're about to put together. The shorter carbon spars going in this top part of the wing, as you can see. So pick either side. I'm going to put a little glue right along here. I have a fan running right now and that really helps this glue set up really fast when it's open air. We're going to take and mash that little thing together real quick. Pull it back apart. There's all our little stringies. The hair. Put it together. Make sure that spar's all in there good. Now, for the next part, you wanna make sure that these little wires for your lights aren't glued down in there. Cause they're gonna to have to string between the top wing and the bottom wing. So now we take our little piece here. It's a little banana, but nothing bad. And so this will glue down no problem. You can see the little boxes just have to line up. There's boxes on one side, so when you flip it down, it's gonna be the same way. Just take and lather some glue in there. Like I said, once again, I'm just using the glue that comes in the kit. It's good stuff, man. I've used it in a bunch of airplanes. I have no problems with it. And let them buy your glue. You're buying the airplanes from them, why not use it? There we go, glue everywhere. That's probably overkill for this piece, to be honest. All right, let's flip that over in there. Start working that piece in. Hopefully nothing's below the wing right now, it's not. Try and make sure that we don't end up scratching up the wing, pushing this in there. Now let's see if we can get that back out of there. Oh yeah, look at all the stringies. I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but there's stringy hair everywhere. Push the wing halves back together, make sure it's nice and stiff. At the end of the day, we gotta make sure everything's good and stiff. So what I'm gonna do is set this off to the side now and put something on top of it to hold this down. All right, guys. So I've ran into my first issue with my Dynam PT-17. Uh, the kit comes with about 9 billion screws, but unfortunately, it does not come with any long enough to make it through the elevator on this airplane. Luckily enough, I always save all of my old screws and leftovers out of kits or crashed planes, which I highly recommend. And I was able to find these little screws that hold in a uh, uh, servo horn from a balsa kit that fit absolutely perfect. And they're just long enough to poke through both sides. So I'm gonna use them. But hopefully when you get yours, you have some screws somewhere in your kit that are long enough to fit because I did not. So. Just a fair warning there that I did run into that issue. But now with these long enough screws, we're gonna go on and put our horns on. Like another two, if you got the screws.
And there you go. All righty. So I ended up finding some screws to fit that elevator. Um, so these are all in now. I have worked my hinges just a little bit before we put it on. The hinges go towards the bottom where the carbon spar is. You take your rudder, rudder, and this square peg, round hole kind of deal, keys into here, like so. And then this slides in and keys into the back, like so. Hey, Alexa's trying to play with us. Alexa, shut your mouth when you're talking to me. Does anybody else talk really angry at their uh, Amazon devices? I know I sure do. Then you're gonna take this long screws, flip your airplane over, grab your airplane stand of choice. I like my foam flight stand. And there's gonna be two holes right in the bottom here. You're gonna want one of these long screws for each. You're gonna need a nice long screwdriver to get up in there. And hope you hit something. <laughs> yep, I'm hitting that. Easy. Give that a tug. Oh yeah, she's on there. Sweet. And if you need some more magnetism, just grab your favorite magnet close by. Run your screwdriver across it a couple times. And now you have a magnetic screwdriver to ram it in. Well, there's that. Screw that in nice and tight. There it goes. It's sucking it down. Nothing too crazy there. There you go. Nice and attached. And while we're here, we might as well go on and flip this over and put our tailwheel in. Uh, but I don't know what I did with it. There it is. Ha ha! I promise guys I'm not losing my mind. So your tail wheel, there's a little tab notched out right here. When you look at this, there's a collet right here with a hole right there to put an Allen key through. So what we're going to do is put our tail wheel in and try and line up that flat. And then we're going to take an Allen key little bitty one i think it's gonna be this and right here i could be incorrect though i think it's even smaller if i have zatin There she be. And we're gonna try and line up our flat to where that grub screw is gonna hit. Right there, just like so. Tighten that up. And that gets our tail wheel attached. Now, I'm gonna go on and leave all of my linkage wires off until uh, I put my receiver in and fire up the radio. Or I could use a servo center here if I wanted to do it right now. Um, and then we'll attach all that. But let's just go on and move on with the airplane for now, and I'll come back and do the linkages at the end. All righty, so we're on to building our landing gear now for the PT-17 Stearman. Uh, the airplane comes with the wheels off like I show you here, and all you gotta do is remove these little collets. Uh, the airplane comes with the Allen key to take these off. So go on and just loosen those. And at this time, these are the wheels that come in the kit. Nothing wrong with them. They will work beautifully for you, but they're hard foam tires. And I happen to just have a set of exact same size, three and a half inch Dubro low bounce rubber tires that'll just dress up this model a little bit. So since I'm putting this together anyway, this is a great time to go on and put these on. So it's just as simple as sliding them on. They fit the axles perfectly if you guys decide to get some. They are quite a bit heavier than the other ones, but won't hurt a thing. And I'm just gonna go on and put those on there and set screw them down. You know what I am gonna do also? Grab me a little Loctite 
and you guys can do this too if you choose. You do not have to. But just so I don't ever have to worry about this little grub screw falling off and getting loose, I'm going to put me just a little drop of Loctite down on that grub screw. Like that. There you go. Do the other side. Always difficult to do this on camera. Hold the wheel in the right place. Don't drop everything. there our next step is going to be installing the wheels onto the airplane i just noticed something kind of funny the trailing links are leading edge links on this airplane <laughs> can't fix that anyway but these should go the other way uh, we're going to take our little fairings now they only go on one way i waited till this part where i could hold it on here and figure out which direction they needed to go To figure that out. So dry fit everything, always a good choice. When you're assembling an airplane, make sure everything's going to fit correctly as it does. So now take a little of our white tube glue. We're going to globulate some up in here on the top. Globulate is the official term If I can get the cap off, there we go. You probably can't see what I'm doing. Putting it right here. I'm gonna set that down on there now. Try not to make a mess as I do it. So those are stuck. Give them a nice little firm push. Then I'm going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to just kind of squirt it into the corners here just to hold that to the gear. Do it how you choose. That's just how I'm choosing to do it. And I'm going to take my little finger and just work it up and down. Once again, do this however you see fit. This is on the inside where ain't nobody ever going to see it. Clean it up a little bit before we stick all our screws in. Make sure we don't got no glue we don't want. No wear. Like that. And then this little plate is going to cover that up. like so and then we're going to take our Phillips head kind of more aggressively threaded screw and we're going to get to screwing because there's a bunch of them now what I'm going to do is just get each started before I actually cinch it down through the power of editing now. Fast fingers! All right, and now we're just gonna cinch them all down the rest of the way. Now 
and it should look like that when you get done. All right, guys, so I flipped the airplane over and real quick before we put the wings on, I went on ahead and put the flying wires on also. There's nothing to this, little springs that just kind of clip into both sides. Uh, the longer rods go on the top, the shorter rods go on the bottom. So there's four of these, just go on and put those on right now too, before you get the wings on and it just gets a little harder to move the airplane around. So at this stage, we are ready to install our wings. I've gone on and taken off the battery hatch. We're gonna go on and flip our airplane over. Get it sitting there in the stand how we like it. And we're gonna take our bottom wing. Remember, we glued our bottom wing already, so this is all set up and ready to go. The bottom wing is the one with the servo connectors. We're gonna feed our little servo connections down into the back section of the model. Oops, bonking the camera right now. Reach up here now that we have the battery hatch off and grab our little servo connectors and feed them down and seat our wing. into the model and everything should should fit good now we're going to take four of the long threaded screws if you can see those drop them all in and pray that they line up Beautiful. I'm gonna get a different screwdriver that fits them a little better. Cinch them on down. Remember it's into foam stuff here, so don't ever over tighten your screws, but get them tight. Perfect. So now we need to install our top wing to the airplane. So we're gonna start off by putting these two braces on. Remember they only go one direction. If you look at them, there's a little kink at the bottom. That goes towards the back. They only go one direction. When you hold them on there, you'll see which way they go. And if they're set in there, that this will be parallel to it. You're gonna use these little black uh, Phillips head screws to put it on. And you're gonna leave the back ones loose so that we can pass the LED wire into the fuselage as we go. You can go on and put the screw in, just leave it loose. You can pull assembly loose if you want to loose. Always challenging when something off in this direction. Is it just gonna get started now? Oops, that's an unscrew. That was the right screw. <laughs> this is always challenging, guys. Put an airplane together, we don't have to watch me. Oh, yeah. Now we're gonna grab our top wing. The top wing, remember, did not have the servos in it, but it does have these two wires right here. These are for the lights. We're gonna just set this up here ever so gently right now. And we're gonna pass, let's see, there's a hole. Let me see if I can do this while holding it. There is a hole right here on the side of the fuselage on both sides that we need to push our little connector through. Ever so gently. I may need to get a stick of some sort to push that through. I might be able to reach in and grab it. Oh 
Let's see, if I grab the right tool, I bet you I can grab it. Like that. And like that. There we go. And now we can pull our little wires through and we can line everything up. So now we can go on and cinch down. Let's see, can I set that right there? I can. Uh -huh. Now we can go on and cinch these up. And just make sure you don't end up pinching your wire as you're doing this. Now we're going to take the little bolts. They're the machine threaded ones. We're going to slide our wing in and put our nuts and bolts on. I am not going to make you watch me fumble with this, but I'm going to put all four of these on. Uh, and then come back to you. I'm gonna leave them loose because I know we have to put the flying wires on. So I'm gonna put a, a nut on one side of them just to hold the wing, but uh, we're gonna show you putting the flying wires and everything on here in just a minute. All right, so don't be a dummy like me. I put the flying wires on and I put them on backwards. So I get to take everything off now, but the uh, next step in the process now that we, we have the wing all on there is to put our flying wires on. I'm going to start with the flying wires up here on the center section of the top wing. These need to be the short flying wires. If you put the long ones on like I have, it's the wrong one. So what I'm going to have Lori do now is super speed and I'm going to put all the short ones on, change them out for the long ones. Uh, it's a bolt that goes through. You want to put the bolts towards the outside of the wing. So the one over here goes out this way. The one on this side is going to go that way. And then you put your flying wire on and then the nut. So here we go. Super speed. All right, nothing too super fast about any of that, but now it is time to put on our outer wing panels here. This one goes on this side and you'll see, if you can see that, it's kind of bent at the top. You want them leaning out towards the outside. So this one would go like this and the other one will go on this side over here. And we're gonna take some more of our little threaded screws 
We're gonna take our flying wires that we just put on. I'm gonna put mine towards the outside. And I'm gonna put on these bottom parts now. So we put our flying wire on. Nice and tight, at least. Here. Try and hold all this stuff with one hand. It's not easy. And then we're gonna go to super speed mode momentarily and get to it. Our tops on. Now we need to do the strings that go across this way. So, what I'm going to do is take our long strings that we now have, we go from here to here, and we'll put them all up here at the top, and then fill this off like a normal thing. It's a little bit of a challenge, guys, with this part of it together, but uh, it is doable. Just take your time. And we'll do it. Okay, they give you an So our last little bit to do on these is these little black coarse threaded screws are going to go in to this plastic receiver point on the side of the fuselage. So you'll grab your corresponding flying wire and bring it down with a screw. I almost wonder if we could X them. Nope, we cannot. And I'm going to get them all started and then we're going to cinch them all up at the very end. The challenging part is how to hold all this and put these in. <laughs> Difficult. it had an issue again well guys 
I don't think I'm gonna make you fumble through all of this with me. I'm gonna put these on and bring y'all back here in just a second. Because this is a little bit fumbly, to be honest. We're gonna just put these on and I'll show you how it goes. All right, guys, so we've put all our flying wires on now and I just wanna show you how this actually works. There's a, a bolt that goes through, then your flying wire and then the nut. You can see it's like that on both sides. I've also gone on ahead and put a little touch of uh, Loctite here. Let's see if I can get that to focus. And manually, nope, you don't want to focus on that. Let's see. Well, you can see they go back and forth there and go all the way across. So they really look cool. They just take a little bit of effort to put these on, guys. But once you get it on there, they look really cool. They're actually nice and tight. They're actually functioning. But there you go. So that is the wings assembled. This is definitely one you don't want to take the wings on and off of every time. You want to leave them on. All right, next step in the process, we need to glue our motor to our cowling. I don't know if it was supposed to come glued to it already, but mine did not. Uh, and unfortunately, it got kind of into this part in transport. So it is what it is, it's okay. Um, the cowling is definitely full of lead weight. I mean, this thing is full uh, and it'll only go into it one direction. So we just need to figure it out, kind of test fit it all in there. Let's see, I think it goes like this. Like that right there. I think that's correct. And then we're gonna take and we're gonna put some glue on it. All around in here, that is a heavy piece too. So we're gonna definitely make sure we glue it good. That is for sure. Don't cheap out here. I'm gonna squirt some down in the holes. There we go. And now we're gonna set that back in there. Totally put that in the wrong hole. That's okay though, because we need to pull it out anyway so the glue will get all sticky. There we go. Stick that back on there. Oh, that didn't sound good. I don't know what I just broke. There we go. Now I just want to make sure that that is good and glued. We don't want this thing falling off. I'm going to take and run my little fingers all around in here and smear that glue around real good. Ain't gonna hurt me none. A little alcohol, take it right off your hands. It might cause cancer in California, but everything does. So there we go. We just wanna make sure that's good and up in there. There we go. We're gonna let that dry real good now. Before we stick that on the airplane, it just magnets on there. Um, and we're getting to be about done, guys. All right, guys, so the airplane is basically assembled now. All that's left is to stick the two little grab handles on back here. I just have the prop setting on the airplane right now. Uh, I'm not actually gonna screw it down until we have the airplane bound up and everything checked and then put our linkages on, but now I'm at the point that I'm gonna put all my stickers on the airplane. I'm not gonna bore you with you seeing me put them on, so. I'm gonna go on and do that real quick. When I come back, we'll have all the stickers on. All that'll be left to do is bind up the airplane and we're done, so here we go. All right, guys, well, there it is, the Dynam PT-17. Uh, the assembly of this one isn't bad at all. Uh, Dynam's really starting to kind of get everything fitted and finished a lot better on these. Uh, just take your time. The flying wires are gonna take you a little bit longer to do. 
than a lot of other planes, but that's just kind of part of the biplane and the way it's designed. Just use your patience and take your time and it'll go together for you. Um, but yeah, overall the airplane went together super easy. The finish on this one is definitely one of the best uh, Dynam planes I've seen to date. Uh, and I believe it's only $208 right now, but check that link down in the description. We are an affiliate with BitGo Hobby, so if you buy anything through that link down below, we're going to make a little bit of money off of it, help support the channel. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to get it out and fly it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please make sure you ask them down in the bottom. And like always, get out and fly with your friends. Like, share, subscribe. And we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye.